to him quarantine. I guess that's the first thing that popped into my head that I can remember. Yeah, yeah. What's the question? What's the question, fam? I guess I want to discuss. Yeah. And, uh, unfortunately, we're all single here. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some more than others, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> yeah, some more than others. Well, let's just say that some people might have a little side, a, a little catch up there, or a little main cause waiting in that. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess I guess I want to discuss because yeah, relationships must be difficult, especially obviously Love Island people. They come out, yep. they barely even know each other, and all of a sudden they can't even see each other anymore. Yeah, uh, actually, the majority of them are living together now. No, yeah, them, only that some majority of them are. Oh. Name me the majority. I, I, I got facts. Give me your facts. Um, Maybe not majority of them, yeah. but. Uh, what's the name? Shonice and uh... oh, yeah. Yeah, Sharif, Sharif and Sharif and Stacy. You know, you know them one. Yeah, you know yeah, that yeah. couple. Yeah, <laughs> Sh- 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 Shanice and Luke T and Paige and that other and group. The... Yeah, they're the only ones that live together. You know, the rest of them don't. Mm. Who are the other couple? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> like, that's such. They're so irrelevant. Now you got um um Nas. And his Asian too. Naz. Not Naz. Naz. I don't fuck where his name is. He's a snake anyway. He snaked his own boy, my like Murad Morali, fam. Jeez. What do you mean? What happened? So his friend Murad, uh, Murad put him put him on Love Island because he was on his YouTube channel. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. But then, but because Murad does like these type of like um, critical content, basically a lot of like Love Island videos, but it's not always positive. Yeah. He felt like he couldn't be seen with him because he didn't want to be associated with his YouTube videos because it can come across as his negative towards his friends. Yeah, but, but he said right before before putting him on there that I'm gonna, you know, when I'm doing my reviews and stuff, I'm gonna be honest. And if I think you've messed up, I'm not gonna support you on that. Yeah, but it had nothing to do with Marad. He was worried about how his friends would see him and how. And obviously his team as well probably put some thing in his head. Um, but I don't care about Marauder and Nas anyway, man. Shout out to them two Wastemans. Um, don't rate Nas. If someone puts you on and you don't pay no homage, you're, you're, you're a dead you in the streets. <laughs> like, ima- imagine, imagine, imagine I put Joe on. Who's on there? Hello? Oh, How she answered it as well. <laughs> but yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk about relationship. Joe, someone like someone like you who weren't really into social uh, social media DMs or dating apps or whatever. Mm. Like, how, how do you deal with meeting people, or girls in general? What's up with you? Um, I mean, I don't really. Is a is a thing where um, I meet them doing what I'm doing. So yeah. Say for instance, the, my last situation was um, I met the person picking up my friends from salsa class. So <laughs> you know what I mean. It's just as I go yeah. along with life, you know, mm. uh, I meet people. I mean, I, I did have I did have a run probably 2014, 2015 where I was hitting the DMs. Pretty the DMs are pretty lit on Twitter. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I did uh, get a, I did get into a relationship through that, but um, other than that, I ain't really been on the str- on the on the digital streets like that. So, <laughs> in terms of like the opposite sex, you're not really you're not really fucking with the dating apps, are Mm, not really. Because if, if you think if I about it, I'm on there is because mm. of friends like ah, oh, it'll be cool to see. You how 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 people interact with your profile i'm like all right cool i guess i mean at one point uh my friend was the one running my <laughs> my tinder on on their phone like i wasn't even checking it like that I'll, I'll, i mean i'll check it periodically to see oh what's popping but other than that it's like yeah, yeah so that's where cat begins it's just uh i like thinking that thing, you know because the thing is like Oh no! Is just the quality of people I meet on there is just yeah, it's kind of whack. I can't lie. Oh well. Yeah. What about you, Sidra, man? How are you dealing with this quarantine? Obviously, 
know what's funny? If I even said something right now about what's going on during this quarantine, yeah, about mm. dating stuff, first of all, I don't think people will believe me. Number two, I don't think I want to put it out there. Oh, why didn't you start the sentence with nobody? Now I want to know. Yeah, <laughs> you, you just busted the cherry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least do the off camera, but now it's like. <laughs> I don't have another question for you, man. Yeah, you're gonna have to uh, finish that film. <laughs> He's fully busted a Sharif. <laughs> if I put it out there, then it's gonna be a bit mad because then I might not have what's waiting after quarantine. <laughs> also, oh, technically, you, you have, have a boyfriend. You have a, you have a sweet oh, one. You have a sweet I ain't one. Got no boyfriend. Man said a sweet one. You definitely watch Love Island, fam. That's a uh, I Nah, I just watch. I just see a lot of memes in it, so. <laughs> Oh, you see the memes for him? <laughs> that's what he calls. That's what he kept calling his tick the sweet one. That was funny. Mm-hmm. Um, no, no, there's no, there's no boyfriends. Never. Why plural? What the heck? Yeah, <laughs> You're wild, Sidra. <laughs> <laughs> You're wild, that's man. A, that's a boyfriends, you know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that was a strong S as well. Like I heard that shit. <laughs> yeah. No, but on a serious note, like, how are you coping with like communication? Obviously, we know you're talking to your friends, but are you trying to meet new people? Is online a thing? So basically, coming into this quarantine thing, right? I'll be honest with you, I was thinking to myself, nah, like, I'm not interested, whatever, I don't care. Yeah. During this quarantine time, I've had nothing but nothing to do. So, you know, if someone's like DMing or whatever, then it's entertainment, you just entertain it. Mm-hmm. I didn't know I was gonna. I've got like, <laughs> I've got five dates with five different boys waiting for me. <laughs> oh, that's what you uh, said you didn't want to put out, Big girl okay, like Sidra. Okay. Uh, she's I'm wheeling at me. She's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, man. Jeez, Juggling bro. like it's Zippo's circus, bro. Hello. They, they will never actually watch this, right? Because I'm never gonna put it up. Them hey, listen, man, we're the hottest in the streets. Don't, 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 don't yeah, test our yeah, gangs. <laughs> Six nine, where you at? I won't promote it, but I'm saying that. Um... <laughs> Are you a snake? So you ain't even promoting our show now. Yeah, I promote the other one. I'm saying promote this one, mate. How is it not a difference? But what I'm saying is, oh, it is what it is, isn't it? 100. percent They're talking to 20 other girls, mate. But still, but I never thought I'd be this. I wanted to just completely like chill out but the hardest thing is where you actually like you know when you actually find a connection with someone and you're just like damn like Mm. i want to i want to get over and done with like i just want to meet you and just Mm. oh how cute but i'm in that situation right now do you know what i mean oh sweet (laughs) ones yeah i I see how you men are rolling okay hey listen your team's a broad (laughs) shot man (laughs) (laughs) Hey, listen, man. You know, I had, I had, listen, oh, listen, 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 listen. I had, I had, you, I had people's googling for man. You, you know what I mean? So like, you, you can, you can, you can cut that if you want, though. Still. Nah, I ain't cutting nothing. We, uh, we okay. going raw. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say it, man. I could actually say the country, man. For I allow you with the country. Oh, oh, yeah, that'd have been. That's too big. That's too big. That's too big, fam. I mean, but, but um, yeah. Honestly, I just think with quarantine, I feel like it's, I don't know if you guys have had it, I feel mm. like it's interesting how people that you never really spoke to or you've known for a long time but yep. lost contact with mm. are suddenly very keen to communicate. Yeah, yes. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, so I might yeah. be chilling, especially, you know what's funny is because my show, the show that I was on on E4 came out during the lockdown. And... Okay, light flex, cycles right, and what? <laughs> But, um, <laughs> but like even even that and then just generally like i couldn't believe like i'm having friends going yo we were best friends two years ago what are you saying oh. <laughs> i'm just sitting here like yeah we're cool but like i know it's quarantine and you're bored but like you ain't gotta just beg it because you ain't gonna have to chat to me right now oh yeah 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 but, and then obviously i feel like it's interesting how easy it is to talk to the opposite sex or whatever you're into, whether you're gay. I don't obviously I don't know if it's easy. No, do you know why? Gay. Because you've also but, got right, this... it's easy fam. I've been chatting to a couple of teams. Salute to... Oh, oh! Do I <laughs> Do I wanna announce that? That is a <laughs> meme. I have to cut that into a meme now. <laughs> 
Screw up, do I want to announce that? Hey, that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got, con- we got content for days now. <laughs> hey, listen, man, I, I am definitely not promoting this episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's only going to be me promoting this yeah. one today, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave that in the archives. <laughs> when it comes out, I'm going to be like, nope. I ain't oh, gonna... Lee. Okay, okay. But yeah, as you're saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm a cup of tea. Wow, that's a meme. But I've been communicating with, with a lot of people. Uh, <laughs> you know? I'm not to blow up your spot. I feel like this is also an opportunity to see who actually is really interested because mm. conversation can only mm. go on for so long right until yes etc but if that yeah. conversation they're still putting that effort in until they meet you until they're waiting till after this year it just goes to show that this person's actually putting the effort in it could be that or it could be they're just not really babe they're just bored man to be honest i yeah, but could there, there is, could... There is a... yeah but it's only entertain so uh, yeah, someone boredom, for so long, right? Like, right now mm. everyone's bored you're gonna have the same conversation over and over again like were you up mm. to nothing were you up yeah, to how many nothing? how many push-ups you do? <laughs> what, what show are you watching i'm watching this what show are you watching yeah i'm watching this oh were you eating i'm eating this that is literally your conversation no no i'm saying in general i'm saying mm. if you ain't got banter and if you ain't trying to put effort in yet and you're not talking about other things. You're not really like the conversation is going to be dead after a week or two weeks or whatever in it. It's not really going to go to the end. So I think it's a it's a fight to see who actually who actually he's he's, he's got it going. Do you know what I mean? Wait, <laughs> Survival of the fist, yeah. <laughs> Survival of the fist. Do you know what I mean? During <laughs> <laughs> uh, man said that natural selection in the dating pool. You know. <laughs> Do you think, uh, but do you think that communicating during quarantine would damage a lot of relationships because you would get used to this kind of consistent replies, constant... Oh, call. so when life goes back to normal and the replies yeah. start... Yeah, because okay. mm. remember how I was telling you Joe, earlier, I was talking to this one, uh, she said she's a nice girl, but she's just too, like, every day, every Tuesday, and it, for me it's like... yeah. I, I, I learn very quickly if I'm dealing yes. with somebody who's who can just sit on the gram like this when I respond and respond straight back and I respond and respond straight back. She's going to want that same energy yep. when it goes back to normal because she's going to be accustomed to, oh, well, Sharif responds every two, uh, three yeah, minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So as soon as I, <laughs> so I had this with, with my ex-girlfriend where we met in college, yep. I was free. Then obviously I started doing this sleek show, finished college, and I ended up being busy. Because she was a year below me, mm-hmm. she was still free. Yep. She's in college, but yep. I was now out of college. Yep. And then our relationship started to change a bit because she's like, yo, listen, like, I used to see you like four or five times a week. Now you're like, man's busy, man's doing this. I thought that's going to be the same way with yeah. how we but communicate. I think, I think that's the difference between an adult relationship and a teenage one do you know what I, mean? I don't even think it's an adult or a teenage think, thing i think if you... adults, so when you go back to your life you're both going back to both you're both going back to your lives do you know what i mean so yeah. that's, you're both gonna have that yeah i guess it comes down to the maturity thing you know <laughs> but it also comes down to the needs of the individual some yeah, people true, yeah. some people which i find really annoying some people live off the validation of their partner Meaning, yeah, they a, can't. That's a recipe if, for disaster. <laughs> yeah, if they don't, if they haven't accepted themselves of who accepted themselves. Yeah. If the guy doesn't talk to them for two days and tell them I love you or whatever, they automatically assume he's cheating or do some other bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, but I do. Know, as a woman, let me answer that. Yeah, as uh, a woman, go right? On, go on. The the fact there is that um, as ladies, you in general, yeah, validation is a thing. No, but it shouldn't be a thing. You should love no, no, yourself. But I think manage. it's more attention, right? Because if you're my man, then I want your attention. I don't want your attention to be anywhere else. And I think in some cases, men can be like that as well. That's why they get very aggressive. And that's why they want to lock their women up, right? Because they think, oh, no, if she goes out there, she's going to get that attention from somewhere else. And then she's going to... Yeah, but that's her. an insecure dude. That's not a real man. No, no, no. But it's, it's not... It, it's not even about insecure 
guy, woman, whatever, we all have our own insecurities. As a woman, Percy myself, who's been cheated on, who's been, I mean, deceived and everything, and who's put so much into a relationship. Now, when I think about it, going into any relationship, right, I'm like a mm. hundred times more sort of cautious on what's given back to me. Yep. Do you know what I mean? From the individual and what I'm giving out. The truth is, I will never now go a hundred and give a hundred percent until you're my husband. Do you know what I mean? I'm never going to do that, right? Because the fact of the matter is that there's no sort of security there anyway, right? Mm. So, but I would still the same sort of attention I give you, right? Messaging you, seeing how you are, etc. Right, whether it's once a day or whatever, I expect that same thing back. Mm. Do you get me? Like, if I message you saying good morning, have a good day, whatever, whether throughout the day and you've responded back to me, you know, saying the same thing, whether throughout the day or not, we don't we don't talk or whatever. To me, it's all right because it's like we've spoken, we've communicated in the morning, right, and then we'll communicate in the night, like how was your day, whatever. Fine. During the day, I don't expect that same communication. However, if I've messaged you in the morning saying, yo, have a good day, da da da, etc., then you've not responded to me, right, at all until three okay. days later, that's a problem for me because why is it taking you three days to contact me? But I'm sure if you wanted to be here right now and have me all over you, you'd be here within a second. You're communicating within seconds with me. Do you get me? Mm. That's what it comes down to. It's about the same affection that you're giving in person give that you know through whatever messages whatever but just let the person know that yo i'm like i'm here for you do you get me it's not a constant oh i'm here or message 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 right but it's the mm. fact of communication that's what it boils down to that's why i always say one thing that is key for me is communication if i communicate with you i need the same communication back with me right everything else will fit into its own place right i don't like her even with friends right if you can't communicate with me i'm not a mind reader you're not a mind reader right you won't know how i'm feeling i won't know how you're feeling so that's why when it comes to certain things i'm very vocal about how i feel in certain situations because otherwise you're not going to know that you're not going to know how to handle that situation right yeah. so it also comes down to how are you as a communicator back you know if you're not feeling if you're feeling like there's a lack of attention or whatever coming from your other half then you've got to tell them and then they've got to work on that and if they don't work on that and if they're not trying to work on that then you walk away from it because it's like well no i've told you how i am as an individual you were giving like me that same communication that same effort before we got into this relationship all of a sudden because you have me it's changed right and now you don't want to work on it even though i've told you what the issue is then you just walk away do you know what i mean there's no point in entertaining it because the then it comes down to then that's when women start overthinking and men start overthinking well she's not showing me that attention she's cheating or he's cheating or this that the other do you see what i mean so communication is key Jeez. yeah and trust i guess exactly <laughs> but um well how do we end up all the way down there um cool. i'm just thinking so we're just riffing on communication isn't it? i'm i'm just thinking like I don't know. I don't really have a point to add to that, you know, for once in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just... Well done, Sidri. You did a good job. <laughs> yeah, because obviously I was just talking about quarantine and what would happen yeah. after. But I also think the danger of talking too much online is when you link up, there might not be much to say. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah. Because... because you know, cause especially when I've seen, when you watch shows like 90 Day Fiancés and they'll be like, yes. we've spoken for a year. When they link up, it's so awkward. Because it's almost uh... like you're not, because you're not getting to know the person. So you know the person, but you don't physically know the person. Okay. You mentally know the okay. person. So when you meet them, it's like, rah, she's buff, but can I hold her hand? Can I? What am I supposed to be yeah. doing with this woman? But again, right, for example, is it's communication. You've got to sort of lay the boundaries, like, because this is what I do, right, when talking mm. to someone. I literally go, go on, give it a scoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally go, for example, right, um, in person, right, like, I don't want it to be awkward, okay? Uh, it's not, I don't want it to be awkward, so, mm. I mean, 
it's weird saying it now thinking about but I'm literally like you know um if we see each other don't sort of feel shy or whatever like you know this that the other like it's all right we can hug whatever right yeah but we all oh, kind of make those gas like you'll get gas like, yo I'm gonna do this in the bedroom the link up they ain't even half of that yeah no hundred percent I agree with you yeah you're you're like a hundred percent right in terms Luckily, of like, I've never experienced that. <laughs> in person right in person it is gonna be I've had I've been in situations where it's just you know on the phone communication banging banging jokes till 5 a.m whatever right in person <laughs> in person i'm having to kick that same person out of my car and leaving them stranded while i drive off i'm not joking this is a oh, true geez. story because it was dead that and it was frustrating to me because this individual that was with me thought there was some sort of god's gift all of a sudden i thought to myself this oh. is not the person i started talking to this is not the person that i agreed to come here with right you can get out of my car because you're actually frustrating you know and then i drove off but again it is it is the case of it if you are who you are right then you that's that's fine if the individual in front of you isn't the way they were then you just gotta let go in it you just move on to the next yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think people that kind of like... I don't know what the word I'm looking for. Who puts on... I, I'm not even talking about what? being a cat. Yeah, like... Yeah. You know, like, people have, like... people. Some people social media... I'm just saying it because... You're gonna like in this quarantine, oh, yeah? Yeah, so you could portray yourself as a different... Mm. You can kind of invent yeah. yourself in so many different ways. Yeah. yeah, but not only not only that, but if you're me and let's say you have this persona on Instagram, yeah, give me one minute. And you meet me, yeah. Do you think you meet them within a week? Yeah. In like seven days, the person already knows. Oh, okay, cool. Man's not exactly like this, but it's yeah. been like seven days. So you'll probably just let it slide. But now, if you're thinking for six, let's say we're in this for six months, or let's say someone's been talking since March for a whole hot minute. Yeah, yeah. And then we don't get out to like September, they link up. Yeah. Throughout that time, they're going to think this is a particular type of person. He's yes, X, Y, yes, Z. Yes. And you know what? You can never be 100% yourself through texts and phone calls. Anyway. That's true. That's true. So when you actually link up, it might just be that you've wasted four months of communication. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, facts, you, it's facts, though. It's facts. You go on a date, it's hella silent, and then it's just dead food phone or even that they, they they're they're just addicted to their phone <laughs> yeah 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 so it, also, it would only make sense why they were always you know talking or whatever yeah because even when when the rona isn't in the streets they're still <laughs> they're still, still on like the phone. this phone yeah. <laughs> yeah. still and, still call, call, calling in six to call in sick to binge watch netflix and that yeah I'm telling yeah you, I'm telling you, it's going to become about to do that now, you know, because they got so used to being at home. Like, being... This ah, is the first... This so is the natural first, habitat, yeah. yeah. Well, this is the first time ever being lazy is cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, now, listen, laziness is cool. I'll be talking to a couple people, whatever, here and now. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, just having a lazy day, binge on Netflix. That's normal. Like, I'm not even hating on you now. I'm not, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. You're like... Ah, uh, uh, yeah. do, you think, do you think lazy people, yes, who are lazy already, yeah. will just become extra lazy when their own is done because they've been accustomed of course. to, be, to being of course. lazy for so long yeah. that as soon as they're back at work, they will generally call in sick because they just can't be asked. Like they might even be sick. They might yeah. even have a night out. They just they just wake up in the morning and they're like, man, fuck work, man. I'm just gonna be lazy and sleep, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, I mean, I've just come into this conversation just hearing about lazy people and um, staying lazy, staying lazy, around. and uh, calling in sick. You know, one thing I know is that um, a lot of people who suffer from like depression and stuff are the ones that mm. do often call in sick because they can't get them to get themselves to get up and actually go to work. Okay, Cedra coming in with the facts. <laughs> oh, I can't even hey. lie. Oh, in my head, I was thinking she did the same thing last time. She's <laughs> <turned, laughs> she just dropped me the whole Okay, Cedra coming in with the facts. Oh, I don't forget snap. Though, my mental health out right now. Watching this 
Hey, let's go. Uh, anyway, you might have to give her a promotion, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, you might have to be on the show, man. You're coming like for us now, man. Jeez. <laughs> 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 Where have I dropped that fact? I was oh, like, okay. snap. Okay. Yeah, oh, carry on your point, though, yeah? <laughs> the thing is that you got to take that in consideration. A lot of people, right? Yeah, there's lazy people out there that yes. after drunken night they just can't be bothered to go to work so they're calling sick however we yeah. need to also take in consideration that actually a lot of people out there uh, suffer with a lot of anxiety and depression and mm. for them to go to work is hard enough right now yeah. after this quarantine when they've become so accustomed to staying in one place getting out in the world is not going to be easy for them so it is going to be a case of where they're not going to be able to get out they will be calling in sick mm. you know they will be suffering really bad from it and they're not going to be able to go into places um where, where there's full crowds etc things like that and it's, especially because if you suffer from anxiety and depression right yeah, the yeah, idea yeah. of going out in the world while this stuff is still going on right it's going to mm. be more it's going to make them more anxious because then they're going to be extra careful with you know they, they're going to have 101 things going through their head so yep. i mean yep. i think it's it's going to happen right a lot of people are going to end up being in a situation where they'll continue to call in sick and making it worse and stuff but mm. we also need to consider that a lot of those people won't just be lazy people because there will be a handful of lazy people but mm. also people that actually suffer from medical conditions that are making them feel, you know, like that or what a normal person would say lazy because that's the truth, mm. right? Yeah. A lot of people who don't understand this, understand like medical issues like that, this, that, the other, consider a lot of people with depression, and anxiety, lazy. Yep. Not saying that anyone here is saying that, but I'm saying in the real world out there, a lot of people do that they do feel like that do you know what i mean parents find out that their kids got depression or anxiety they're just lazy you just don't want to do it that's why you're you know behaving mm. like that it's not true yeah, a, lot, a lot of parents don't believe in mental health issues, you know? yeah especially but... foreigners that's yeah, exactly yeah. Yeah. that's more i mean white people are a bit more accustomed to mental health i believe but black parents and that they'll be like uh, you know, I know, I'm not going to say no names on this one, well, <laughs> but I know somebody who looks at mental health like it's a disability. Like, oh, what, you got mental health, what, you're disabled, what, you're depressed, what, you're disabled. And oh. that's just kind of been accustomed to thinking it, that's what it is. Mm. Especially African parents. I can name a hundred African parents that will come with that same energy. Yeah, no, but I'm saying Asian parents are exactly the same as all. Well. To be honest with you, before uh, I'll be honest, right? Before my sister was actually diagnosed with depression or whatever, right? Mm. My dad was basically treating it as like nothing. Do you know what I mean? I mean, personally, mm. myself, right? Um, I'd say as a kid, as a kid, I and now when I think back to it, because I had no education on what it, what those feelings were inside, I'd say mm. I had high anxiety before I did anything. I'd have to write things down before I went to say anything, yeah, just in case it doesn't, you know what I mean? However, I do believe that because my dad and my family sort of threw me in the deep end and I sort of looked around and I had nowhere to go, right, other than do what I need to do right now, mm -hmm. right, the task ahead of me, I think mm -hmm. that's what's made me come out of it right and that's what sort of pulled me out of it because i've been put in situations where i've had no way of going do you know what i mean whereas yeah. kids that which me as an individual i've managed to deal with it however there's people there's kids out there if they keep being put in that situation they're gonna end up mm. being worse or they're gonna end up put, being put in situations where it's it's mad do you know what i mean that they'll end up doing something like self-harming or suicide or whatever because it's they feel the world is against them I felt like, oh, the world's against me. However, I think I've come out of it stronger because I've been like, I'm gonna use it to my advantage and I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I need to do. Hell, if I need to write down what I need to write down to remember what I need to say to my bloody, you know, shop, the, the bloody corner shop, then I will do it. I, I just need to go do the task ahead. But not a lot of people are built like that. And I think the reason why I was like that is because to me, I didn't know about um, mental health. I didn't know about it at all. So I don't know what to do. I do have mild anxiety now, but I think it's only mild because I can pull myself up and I can sort of push myself through it. But it's a constant thing in my head where I'm telling myself, like, 
you've got to do it, you've got to do it, you've got to do it, you've got to do it. Whereas my sister in her head is, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. Do you know what I mean? Where slowly, mm. slowly what I started doing with her, because she has a very severe case of depression and anxiety, is when we're out for dinner, right? She doesn't want to, she doesn't want to call the wait or anything. She always looks at me. Slowly, slowly mm. what I've been doing, I've been telling her, no, you've got to do it. Like, just do it, just do it, right? And then the last time we went out, right? I was like to her, okay, you're going to pay, right? And she looked at me as if, like, I was against her or something, but I was like to her, no, it's <laughs> fine. You're okay, yeah. right? Just do it. It's just going to, calling the thingy, saying, can we have the bill? Once he gives you the receipt, go into the till and give him the money in the hand. That's all you need to do, right? And yeah. she, for a half an hour, right, it was a battle between me and her, right? But I felt like I needed her to do it because... Once we leave, there's no fallback for her. She has to do this stuff on her own. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. So she actually got up in the end and she did it. And actually that was a very proud moment for her because even though I pushed her to do it, she got up and she did it because in her head it was it went from I can't do it to okay, I'm gonna have to do it. And then by the end of it, it was I've done it. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Basically. Mm -hmm. I saw that little smile like the MC, you knew you got some baggers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that. Do no, Dr. Like... Sidra K. Ali in the building. <laughs> right, listen, she's trying to take over my position. I think we did a long talk. <laughs> Have I had time to respond to a text as well? But, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, was, I was just here like. But, um, I at the end because I thought to myself, hang on a second, what have I just like? Or what do I say after that? Because then I realized nothing to say after that. Yeah, now mental health is um is, is, is big, man. I think we touched a lot of it last week, but don't forget my mental health out now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. So stupid, man. What? It's funny yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Say the what. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, man, they don't, I don't see you posting it anymore. Uh, anyway, so um, uh, uh, see, I see how uh, what was we even talking about? Central relationships. Oh yes, 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 yes. How do we get to mental health, and, dude? Because anyway. you're asking um about, about, you can, about uh, people, the habits people. of lazy people, whether that will change after. Oh that. yes, yes, yes. As you touch on the mental health side of things, um, yeah, yeah. and I think with. With relationships and mental health, they both play a huge role. But I don't know, people with mental health issues, I feel like are too dependent on relationships. Um, yeah. Since we touched on mental health. And that can be a dangerous game for the, not only for the person in mental health, but for the person who doesn't understand the mental health, I believe. Uh, I've, I was dating this one young lady that had very bad mental health. I knew it, but I didn't really understand what she was feeling. So, yeah. for example, when I'm when I was like when I when I when I was talking to her, wherever, and I don't know X, Y, and Z, I just didn't really feel like talking. To her. She'll call me. I know she's calling me, and I just be like, I can't be asked, man. Like, it's just long. She just wanted to talk, but I didn't know that. She didn't tell me that, but she thought I should know that. But it's like, I answered that, she'll be like, oh, let me talk about it. I'll let me talk to you later, man. I'm a bit busy doing my thing, whatever, whatever. But like, for somebody like her, he was dealing with like anxiety, insecurities, and some other stuff that she had, um, that she had, I think depression was one of them. She had a lot of mental health to deal with. Um, me, me, me almost saying nah was like, I, am, I, I abandoned her in her need. Like, like a sort of a rejection kind of thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She felt like yeah. she automatically she was like, ah, oh, she she doesn't rate me like that because he won't talk to me about feeling this type of stuff that they would, she wanted to talk about. Yeah. And it and it, and, it, and it, for me it was like I knew she had mental health, but I didn't understand the severity of it. I didn't yep. get that like little things like I don't know. I don't know. Ah, oh, if she doesn't want to talk to me for the, for a day, that wasn't her telling me she doesn't rate me or she's busy. Mm. That was just her in her depression state. Because obviously, yep. not saying she's bipolar, but you know, people that are depressed sometimes just don't want no communication. 
Yeah. That would piss me off. So I'd be like, raw, like, what? You ain't trying to chat to me? <laughs> I didn't, like, she would just be yeah. like, I don't want to touch you right now. And for me, this is why it didn't work, innit? Because I didn't understand it. Yeah. So I feel like it's so easy, especially because we're talking about quarantine relationships and mental health. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be so easy for people to be able to deal with it in this format. Yep. Where you don't physically have to watch it. Yep. But then when you're living in there and you realize that the, your, 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 your boothang is, uh, it's got a lot of situations up there. Yeah. It's going to be a mad one because you've never dealt with it face to face. I can easily just sit on my phone. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You could avoid a lot of stuff. Yeah, you can avoid um, so much stuff. You can avoid uh, a lot of when things. You're when face to face, you can't really yeah. avoid yeah, yeah. yeah, and face to face is the worst one because if you see someone just in in deep depression or they just start crying for no, let's let's say you're just chilling mm. watching the movie, yeah, and the girl just starts crying because she's in mad depression and she just got into those those mad feelings. What yeah. do you do on the phone? You can be like, yeah. oh, don't worry about it, babe. She might not even give you the full um, feeling of what she's going through through the phone because at the end yeah. of the day, you're just listening to her voice. Yeah, yeah. But when you're actually there, it's different. And I think for a lot of people that don't understand it, yeah, it automatically put them off. And you know, for the person in mental health, if they're uh. dependent on their relationship, yeah, they will, you know, they will go even worse into it because they need it. A lot of people need that like companionship. Yeah, friendship yeah, yeah. because they don't even get it at home. A lot of these people don't get it at home. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a major. Yeah, that's a major factor. Yeah. You know. So if you become like the person they depend on for that love, affection, just the communication, and then yeah. you're also, you're almost like, nah, I ain't fucking with it. Nah, this is long. Oh nah, she's too crazy. Then it's kind of like that's why it goes down to it. People start saying, oh, she's crazy, or this, that, the other. Like yeah. she's a crazy. Yeah. I like a little yeah. dash of crazy though. Cool. <laughs> I can't date a good girl. <laughs> okay, I take that back. I can. I want a good girl, but I mean, like, I can't date an angel. Like, I can't date a girl. Yeah, that's not like yo. Shoot, shut the fuck up and sit. Like, I need a girl to be like yo. What's up? I'll bang you if you keep. I need uh, a bang. Yeah, okay, I don't. I don't want no gangster bitch. So. <laughs> no, I, I'm just using my voice in the back. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> okay. I, you know, you, you just you just want a girl to like you know I stick up for her own, isn't it? I don't think that's crazy woman. That's just the woman that's nah, confident nah, in there's herself. Too, there's too many. There's too many. Fam, I met some sweet things in my time, lad. Like, Jeez. I'll just yeah, be running. Saying... I'll be running things, fam. I can tell her. I can tell her. Go, yo, go get me wings. This, 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 this and that. And she'll just go. She'll. Nah, oh, man, too like... co- too cooperative. Yeah, man. I don't okay. like that, man. I like a girl that's kind of like. But the thing is, you a lot of you like girls that. I would say talk their mind. A lot of them are used to being independent, not dependent. A dependent woman is almost like a woman that not all women, so I don't want her to come at me, but if you're if you're trying to be a housewife, you'll probably yep. be one of those girls that you can just string around. She's wrapped around your finger. Things are easy, go on. And no, no, she ain't I would say that. Well, he, did, he did preface it with, 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 with by saying it's not a blanket statement. So. Yeah, I said not everyone. But no, I ain't gonna lie, it's definitely higher than fifty percent. I'll say seventy percent of housewives ain't saying shit to you, bro. They're, because, they yeah, they, yeah, they understand they have the dependency on their man, innit? Well it's not even it's not even housewife, it's just that mentality. They mm. are so they believe the man's a boss. Yep. And um, I don't like girls like that. I find that, oh, I that find you too much too high too high on a pedestal or something. Yeah, right. Okay. But first of all, we're equal anyway, regardless. Obviously, we're not going to equal rights and all that, all that woman, woman, woman versus man shit. That's a conversation that I don't. I've had too many times on this channel. Go check them out and chat and chill. But. <laughs> original <laughs> cast tonight. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, what's the original cast tonight? Oh, good times. <laughs> oh, good times. Shout out to you, man, that left me now. Um. <laughs> um I don't know. There's just something I find about because do you, do you know why I don't like it? Because when I see when when they become a single parent, they're stuck. Ah. Um, like 
I just find myself, I, I, look, I look at a lot of friends I have, or even like my family situation, or whatever. And it's like, yeah, when you pick, when you live that dependent life, I'm not saying I'm ever gonna divorce my kids, but for some, if for some reason my relationship didn't work, yeah. I would wanna, I would wanna know that she's set up too. I don't want her to be crying for some child support but yeah i just don't i feel like a woman should be able to do her own thing like a man mm. should i just don't i don't understand in 2020 how doing nothing is still cool mm. like for a woman i can understand a lot of, and i can understand you know if you have a child you must stay at home that's mm. cool but why oh, can't you, you find something else not, to do you you mean if oh you mean whilst having the child or single after whenever but like you can just find something to do like why would you just want to be at home and just do nothing and just get crying, boring crying from my bank account like that's just oh, like, I find that weird. like have hobbies or whatever i say something yeah yeah um i've got a friend who was working just, wanna, just like, literally before you go though man ain't saying i don't mind giving my woman money i would happily give her 10 bags if i had it i'm just saying all right, academics. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind if she was working in Sainsbury's for once a week. I'm just saying I would want her to be doing something. Oh, oh, okay. So now you want to say that? Oh, but you ain't, you ain't keeping that same energy when I was saying that on the phone. Saying what? Huh? Saying what? I remember. I remember. Oh, that you remember? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you were uh, talking about your dead secretary. Receptionist. Yeah, the receptionist, yeah. Oh, we don't even have that. Oh, good citrus here. We're going to shut you out right now. All right, cool. cool, cool, cool. Joe, Joe I, can hold say, the, yeah. I can hold all the smoke. Big one, too. Don't try to say it, that he, would, he wouldn't date a dead receptionist. That was his words. Citrus, you were you was working at Just Eat Answering Phone Call. You try to say you're dead. What are you saying? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Hey, you're saying it kind of mad, though. No, 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 no. no. You're saying it kind of mad. <laughs> You know, no, let me, hey, no, Sidra, Sidra, oh, Sidra. Let me, no, let me, uh, no, hey, let me, hey, let me, let me, let me, let me present my case. Uh, no, let me okay, present my okay. case though. Uh, Sidra, okay. this is what happened, right? So uh, here it comes. This is one, one of the, one of the many flops on, on dating apps. Yeah, I was talking to this one thing, obviously, uh, speaking on the gram now. No, trying to get to know the person. Uh, is this your thing? You're dating. No, 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 come on, man. Yeah, come Ooh, on, man. that door was strong. Um, come on, man. Uh... See, he's dead receptionist, yeah? I hear that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You better keep that same energy, Joe. I don't want to hear no changes to this sentence. Oh, I don't remember right now. <laughs> Let me say my piece. Oh, so, obviously, I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to get to know the person before before we meet, because that, like that's how I feel. Or out, you know, whether it's gonna be a waste of time or not, whatever. Cool. It's worked for me before, so that's why I keep it. Right, so right, obviously, on. asking. Okay, cool. What? Uh, what? We got into the topic of oh, what do you do for a living? She was like, oh, I'm I'm a receptionist. Cool, whatever. I don't really care about what you do for a living, right? So I'm asking like, oh, so. Okay. Like what else? What else do you? What else do you do? Like, like hobbies? Do you do you do anything else? Like, what's what's going on? Then she was like, uh, sometimes I'm in weather spoons with friends. But other than that, that's about it. I'm like, so I'm like, so in that, so in obviously, so no, no, no. huh? What? Well, uh, what did I say then? Gone. She's in full time employment. How can you? How can you disre- How can you call someone dead? Yeah, because Sidney tried to say she was dead just now. Well, if, no. if I work, work full time, yeah, yeah. We obviously we don't know her schedules in it, but full time, let's say Monday to Friday minimum. Minute Monday wait, to wait, Friday. Wait, wait, wait. Let me ask something. Yeah. Joe, can I ask something? Yeah. yeah? Go on. So she's full time employment. Yeah, Monday to Friday, she's um, you know working full time yep. receptionist yeah yep. do you know how hectic her schedule as a receptionist is though that's a fair that's a fair argument that's a fair you know, argument because because we're we're not talking about uh, a receptionist yeah that's yep. just sitting there and just going through a magazine you don't know exactly what her receptionist believe it or not right yep. they do all stuff right they yeah. don't yeah, got her, been a you know man. being at a reception right yeah inviting people in 
managing yeah. their yeah. expectations to making sure that the, the communication between that individual that's just walked in and to of where course, they course. need to go is there oh, right yeah. on top of that managing events as well because a lot of them do end up doing that right yep. for the whole company right yeah. on top of that making sure that when it comes to organizing events etc for meetings and stuff they're the ones mm -hmm. that majority of the time are the ones that are organizing the meeting rooms and stuff like that right mm -hmm. And then they go from being a receptionist to them being an office coordinator, meaning there is a, it's not just you're going to be a receptionist for the rest of your life. It's there is a, there is a sort of, you know, progression there for them, right? Um, if they wanted to just be a receptionist, that's fair enough to them, right? Majority yeah. of them ones that just want to be a receptionist are working part time because they've got families at home and they've got kids, etc. Right? So, yeah. did you know about her progression or what she actually wanted to do eventually? He didn't get that far. He already thought okay. she was dead. Why? Because you were like, oh, she's dead, isn't it? Because she got a receptionist job. That's it. Nah. Nah. That's I, didn't, that's I, didn't, no, I didn't even say it. Like, nah, I didn't even say it. Like, nah, didn't even say it. Like, what? 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 <laughs> trying, to, trying to speculate on my name. How was this? <laughs> that's a speculate. Joe thought she was dead because she didn't have any extracurricular. Okay, that's way too fresh. She wasn't doing anything else outside of her work, i.e. A yeah. clothing brand. But my point was... No, no, it, it, it didn't even have to... No, it didn't even have to be... It didn't even have to be anything... Yeah, I know uh, that dancing, she can get... No, I, I'll, I'll, I'll Just agree. something other than weather spoons. What's... What? Weather spoons? Yeah, what? Yeah, but, you gotta, <laughs> but you got to remember, yeah, a lot, you're not in full-time employment. A lot of people in full-time employment only have that Saturday where they can go out with their brethren, and then it's back to Sunday they have to stay in, but and then Saturday, Mondays... I, Saturday, I was still doing extra stuff working six days a week, seven to yeah, eleven. But then, yeah, yeah, but that's, you, you, that's because you, you had an... Like, you, you was always doing YouTube. Not everybody wants. Not everybody wakes up and decides to do YouTube yeah. and shit. Not everybody wakes up and says, "I want to dance." Not everybody wakes up and says, "I want to do football." And not everybody wakes up and says, "I want to do gym." But she yeah. was bringing peas on the table. You didn't even rate that. Wait, wait, wait a second, but you know the other thing yet. I won't lie yet. Ah, you're me, uh, you're paying a bit extra now. <laughs> no, no, but let's let's look at one of our brothers. Yeah, you yeah. can't say his name in it because that's gonna be bad rude. So let's just think about something. No, I, well, I know this person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm okay. gonna, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I'll text both of you guys the name right now. Okay? I'm not saying my name. Right, cool, cool. But, cool, cool, cool. but um, <laughs> trying to speculate yeah. on my name. Discuss. I just should spit on the floor. <laughs> How oh, dare you? Uh, you know what? It doesn't even matter. I didn't even need to say who it is. But hey, I me... could probably guess who it is anyway. It's gone. Yeah, but like. Like somebody was in a relationship, yes, or just a situ in a situation ship, yep, but wasn't working, yep. couldn't bring the peas to the table, yeah, had to had to had to go to other measures, yep, loans and shit, just yep. to be able to survive. You get me? Yep. Yeah, the other other person in the situation didn't say nothing. Man yep. accepted this situation, then man in. This girl's working full time. Peas on the table for life. Right? You... It doesn't matter about peas, though. Yeah, but it doesn't you... matter about peas. Who are, are you, you as a person? Wait. But you made it out like she was lazy for not doing anything else. And that's oh, fine. Oh, that's... lazy? Oh, come on. Nah, it's not well, lazy. Then, Joe, what? You're not wrong, you're not know, wrong yeah. to think that, you know, this girl should probably do more than just go to weather spoons. Yeah, maybe, you know, do a bit. My thing wasn't lazy, it's boring. Yeah, what? I guess that's not, that was there was no there was no connection there for you. Like maybe she didn't say a hobby that you enjoy. Had she said that, then she didn't say a like, hobby. Oh. That's the thing. Weather spoons is not a hobby. Yeah, I don't think he cared about the hobby. He just wanted to do something. I think. No, but to me it sounds like no. Joe but a hobby is doing something though. Yeah, but I don't think I f to me it sounds like Joe didn't find a mutual ground of like. You know, connection or community or anything like that. That's why it was. Yeah, so but, okay, cool. We'll, we'll coin it to that. See, Sidra's coming with the with the with the. Yeah, but <laughs> coming to the. Like, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, some people some people might be boring and change when they meet the person that they. You know, some pe people say they are who your friends are. Imagine all of her friends were just like that. She got accustomed to rolling to work and then going to the pub. Yeah, but if she met yeah. you. No. For you example, could have changed. You could have changed. Not saying you have to change her, but she could have been like, "Oh, bro, 
oh, you know what, he goes dancing, and maybe I'll try that. You know, it's not always like the person... I'm Joe MK, though, not Bob the Builder, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't have a program on CB. Yeah, but you can still fix it. It boils down to the fact that if Joe wanted to be that person, Joe clearly didn't want to be that person to sort of be like, oh, you know, this is a girl that hasn't seen much of the world. Let me show her the world like Aladdin did with Jasmine. Do you know what I mean? To be yeah, fair, to, to, if, if we're going to put it as the ultimate thing, she just wasn't at, that attractive for me to put that effort in. I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's, be, let's just be honest. Because I'm thinking about it now. If it was a, 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 not a sweet one speaking Spanish or something, because obviously you know how I roll right now. Um, <laughs> my 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 whole my whole thought process would be. Different. I mean, it, yeah, it would be different. Not completely different, yeah. but I'll well, put a lot of things in the black burner. Yeah. Come to you anyway because they think your personality is dead, and they don't think you're good looking enough for them to put that effort in as well. What 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 what? What are you say? What you popping smoke? What are you say? <laughs> <laughs> don't forget the, don't forget the when you say smoke. I said it basically vice versa to all the other girls out there. It's just about yeah. you as an individual, right? Mm-hmm. Not finding that communication, not wanting to communicate that much. That's why you mm-hmm. just deaded it off. No, you know it's interesting. No, I don't. I don't put myself in enough situations to um. Exp- yeah, I don't expose myself to uh, enough situations to. To be fair, though, you get girls that only date gym people, so I, I get it. I get what Joe... I, you know, I get what Joe is coming from, but it was just yeah, the way he called her a dead receptionist. I, could, I, I, have to, I have to school him on that one still. No, but it's fine, so. <laughs> but it's she's fine. not a dead receptionist, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's been, yeah. I don't even know how I came up with that term, you know. I've met... I've spoken I must have been lit or something. No, I'm not even going to lie to you. No, we, was, we was on the phone normal day. Don't try to come like you was lit, man. This guy, man. No, but sometimes on the phone I'm lit, so, you know. Swear up! Hell yeah. <laughs> what? I don't even ask, you know. <laughs> I can't even tell. <laughs> especially especially if you hear my jokes going on for a long time, then you know I'm lit. To me, oh, yeah, yeah. for example, yeah, you go for a fitness person, yeah, you go for yeah. a guy who's a personal trainer, whatever, yeah. to I the world who's like typically well. pleasing and everything, yeah. That's but like. when the man only talks about the gym and has no other hobbies, then it gets boring. Do you know what I mean? Then you don't yeah, want to entertain that anymore, and then you've got to say, then I'll be yeah, like, fuck... he's just a dead personal trainer. But fuck this, I found when did when did this I only date fitness people become a thing? That shit's wild. But I think it's wild to be picky anyways, but we live in 2020, social media era, likes, clicks and likes and all that bullshit, so let's understand.